some earthiness as well, some soil. And almost like, it reminds me of um, aniseed balls. Well, there's a sweet I used to suck on as a child, and they were called aniseed balls, and that's exactly what it tasted like, was aniseed. Um, I kind of get that on the nose as well. It's just a stunning nose. As I say, that layer of tropical, concentrated tropical fruits. Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Today, I have another rum review for you guys. So we're going to be looking at this four square 15 year old here in the middle. And the bottle on my left is for my next uh, rum review. This is from the Thompson Brothers um, and the distillery is the Trinidad Distillery. So um, I thought I would just give a little bit of information on this bottle first. So as I said, it's a four square 15 year old bottled by House of Macduff for their Golden Cost series. A limited edition of 265 bottles bottled at 58% ABV. Now I did try, I did go on their website and have a look um, for some more information. I found it very difficult to find much information on this um, in the sense that um, I'm not sure what cask was used. I mean, it is a single cask, but I'm not sure what cask maturation it underwent. My my feeling would prob probably be ex-bourbon. Um, with regards to tropical aging and aging in Scotland, etc., um, you know, how long, did it, how much time did it spend in, in, in Barbados, etc.? I honestly don't know. That information is not known. So that's a little bit of a shame. It would have been nice to have known what the, you know, how much time it spent in the tropics and how much time it spent in the UK as well. But it doesn't matter. What's most important is obviously how it tastes. Right, so. Um, I think that's pretty much all the information I, I have for this bottle. So we'll just get straight onto the, onto the nose and see what we get with this one. It's resting for about half an hour. Oh. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous nose, honestly. So uh, tropical fruits but concentrated really strong tropical fruits I'm getting melon mango guavas there's some dried fruit as well so I'm getting some apricots underneath that concentrated layer of fruit there's some dusty wood, almost like sawdusty wood. I mean, you can smell it's quite spicy as well. And some ginger spice there, perhaps. Some earthiness as well, some soil. And almost like, it reminds me of um, aniseed balls. Well, there's a sweet I used to suck on as a child, and they were called aniseed balls, and that's exactly what it tasted like, was aniseed. Um, I kind of get that on the nose as well. It's just a stunning nose. As I say, that layer of tropical, concentrated tropical fruits, and the, and the almost sawdusty wood, the spicy ginger, and aniseed, and, and also a bit of earth as well, quite complex. All right, let's just come to the palate then and see what we get. It's mm. quite a spicy ginger finish that. Right, so on the palate, it's oily, 
it's quite thick and like a syrupy texture. Those concentrated tropical fruits I'm getting. So mango and melon and guava. Getting a bit of the dried fruit as well, apricots. And then after that lovely layer of fruit, getting quite a lot of oak, quite a lot of wood tannins. And then a big, big hit of ginger spice and some licorice. And that finish is just, you're just getting, you're getting that oak, that woody, those woody tannins, which is what I, I expect from a four square. A um, little bit of furniture polish there too. It's got a very nice finish, got a strong finish. But the finish does fade, it's starting to fade now. So, I wouldn't say it's short, I would say that's medium length as a finish. But it's just got a gorgeous palette, absolutely gorgeous palette. Let's just try, I know my experiment with the Springbank 10 for my last review didn't go too well with water, but uh, let's try a few drops of water in this. I mean, this is 58% ABV, so it should hold quite well, would be my guess. All right, so three drops of water there. Let's see if that's changing anything at all. Mm. That oakiness is still going, that, those woody tannins and that ginger spice finish is just lingering in the background, which is lovely. Mm. Right, so three drops of water. Let's see if anything has changed. Not really, to be honest. Um, no, I'm still getting the tropical, those concentrated tropical fruits. So melon and mango, guava. It's probably brought out a little bit more earthiness. And the wood as well, the, the woody, the dusty wood. Definitely getting a bit more of that now on the nose. It's earthy as well. Yeah, so very similar. I would say the big, the biggest difference is the is is the wood. Um, I think I think the it it definitely the, the few drops of water definitely makes the the wood a little bit more known. Still smells lovely though, stunning, beautiful. Right, let's have a taste. Mm, it's lovely. So it hasn't changed. The water hasn't changed the arrival in the palate. So still getting, still quite oily, syrupy texture, tropical fruits. As I said before, melon, mango, guava, dried fruit, and then you're getting that. So after the layer of the fruit, you're just getting that dusty wood, aniseed, wood tannins and ginger spice. I would say that the those few drops of water have emphasized the spicy notes. So second sip for me, tastes a little bit more spicy um, um, on the palate. And in the finish, mm, slight industrial note, a little bit of copper, fruit, and wood tannins. And that ginger is just continuing in the, in the finish. So, mm, 
definitely getting more of that copper note. So maybe the, I didn't get that on the first sip. So I'm not sure if um, the water has, has added that, but the, definitely a bit more spicier on the, on the, on the, on the palate and in the finish when you add a few drops of water. But to be frank, not much has changed that much. Um, I personally, I just wouldn't add the water and just keep it as is. I mean, I love a spicy finish, but um, to me, I just prefer it just, just on its own, 58%, no need to add water. But what a stunning bowl this is. Um, I mean, it is quite expensive. I mean, it is a 15 year old, um, it is a 15 year old four square, but um, I was quite fortunate in that I got this at a 20% discount. So sub, I paid sub 100 for this. I think it was, I don't know, 75 quid or something like that. So it was um, what I thought was very reasonable for a 15, for, for a four square of, of that sort of age or 15 years, limited edition, only 265 bowls. And if I compare this to the previous four square I reviewed, the, um, that type, that um, Boutique Rum Company's one, I mean, this to me is just so much better. I just prefer, prefer this. And um, perhaps that's because it's ex-bourbon. I do like um, four square and ex-bourbon casks. So perhaps that's my, my preference, although I don't know if this is um, an ex-bourbon cask because it's not stated, but that would be my assumption, just tasting it. That would definitely be my assumption. Okay, guys, so yeah, so that's the um, House of Macduff's uh, four square 15 year old bottled for the cask, uh, the Golden Cask series, 58% uh, volume and 265 bottles. And it is a stunning bottle. Highly recommended, in my opinion. And as I said, this one here will be, I'll be reviewing next, which is um, from the Trinidad Distillery, the Thompson Brothers, quite a limited release as well. But I look forward to trying this one for, and sharing it with you guys. Okay, so guys, uh, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy my content, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. Uh, but as always, guys, nothing much else to say, except have a fantastic day. I'll see you all, see you all again soon. Take it, guys. Cheers.